In the realm of personal growth and mastery, the ability to swiftly let go of the past and pivot towards the future stands as a monumental skill, one that Miyamoto Musashi, Japan's legendary swordsman and ronin, exemplified throughout his life. Musashi's legacy, marked by his adaptability and strategic prowess, teaches us that sometimes, the swiftest path to victory is through the art of letting go. This video will unravel the philosophy of moving on, fast, as championed by Musashi. With each sword clash and each step taken on the warrior's path, Musashi understood that lingering on triumphs or defeats was a luxury he could not afford. His life, a canvas of constant motion and change, will serve as our guide on how rapid progression is not just about speed, it's about survival, strategy, and ultimately, about wisdom. Join us as we explore how the wisdom of moving on quickly can be more than just a historical footnote. It can be a transformative approach to navigating the complexities of modern life. Whether you're a warrior in the boardroom, an artist in the studio, or anyone who faces life's duels, Musashi's insights can empower you to cut ties with the unnecessary and step boldly into the new chapters of your story. Miyamoto Musashi's existence was a tapestry woven with swift transitions, where each thread represented a leap from one life-defining moment to another. His journey from a young warrior in the Battle of Sekigahara to the esteemed author of The Book of Five Rings was punctuated by quick decisions and brisk moves, both literal and metaphorical. By dissecting the samurai's timeline, we uncover a powerful lesson that the past, while a valuable teacher, should never become a chain that holds us back. We are reminded that, just as Musashi did, Embracing the present and eyeing the future with an unwavering gaze is where true wisdom lies. Musashi's life was a testament to the natural flow of change, a concept deeply ingrained in his philosophy and way of the sword. He saw life as a series of ephemeral moments, each as fleeting as the autumn leaves that fall only to make way for new growth. This profound grasp of life's impermanence was not a source of despair for Musashi, but a wellspring of liberation that empowered him to embrace change with the grace of a drifting cloud. In this exploration, we shall delve into Musashi's ethos, which was rooted in the principle of mono no aware, the poignant awareness of the transience of things. It was this core understanding that allowed him to transition seamlessly from one endeavor to the next, finding in each ending the seeds of a new beginning. Musashi's swift acceptance of change underpinned his strategic prowess, Never too attached to a single victory or defeat, he was always ready to face the next challenge. By embodying the very essence of change, he ensured his strategies and techniques were as fluid as the rivers of his homeland, adapting and flowing with the times. Through his life, Musashi teaches us a valuable lesson, that the acceptance of impermanence is not a passive resignation, but an active engagement with life. It is a powerful principle that, when embraced, can fuel our ability to move on with intention and clarity, to let go of what no longer serves us, and to step into the current of life with renewed vigor and purpose. In the tapestry of Miyamoto Musashi's philosophy, the thread of mental agility stands out, a testament to his profound understanding that the mind, when unburdened by the weight of stagnation, can pivot with the swiftness of a katana strike. Musashi, a paragon of mental fortitude, trained his mind to be as agile as his body, ensuring that he was ever ready to leap forward from one endeavor to the next, like a stone skipping across the surface of a pond, touching upon the water, but never sinking into its depths. To cultivate such agility, Musashi embraced the Zen principle of Mushin, or the mind without mind, which fosters an intuitive state of awareness, receptive to change and unfettered by the hesitation that often accompanies conscious thought. This state of mental fluidity allowed him to act without the paralyzing over-analysis that traps so many in the quagmire of indecision. Musashi's swift adaptability was not a mere rejection of the past, but a strategic recognition that the present moment held the keys to the future. He understood that in the dojo of life, the ability to pivot without attachment to previous battles is what carves the path to mastery. He nurtured a mindset that saw every ending as the prelude to a new beginning, every setback as a lesson, and every victory as a stepping stone, not a pedestal. For those seeking to emulate Musashi's swift-footed journey through life, the lesson is clear. Train the mind with the discipline of a warrior, sharpen it with the acumen of a strategist, and polish it with the wisdom of a sage. It is within this triad of mental agility 
that one finds the fortitude to move on rapidly and the acuity to recognize when the winds of change are blowing in a new direction. Musashi's life was punctuated by duels, each a stanza in the poetry of his existence, each encounter a masterclass in the art of rapid recovery. In these crucibles of combat, Musashi demonstrated not just the swiftness of his blade, but the agility of his resilience. Every duel was an education, each strike, parry, and riposte a lesson etched in the annals of his wisdom. From the famed duel with Sasaki Kujiro on the isolated shores of Ganryu Island, to the lesser-known skirmishes that tested his mettle, Musashi showcased an uncanny ability to not only survive, but to thrive, to emerge from the clash not diminished, but enhanced. His philosophy was simple yet profound. The duel does not end with the sheathing of the sword. It lives on in the lessons harvested from the dance of death. Musashi's rapid recovery was not an unconscious reflex, but a deliberate strategy. He dissected each confrontation with the meticulousness of a sage, extracting wisdom like a blade extracts blood. With each duel, he built an arsenal of insights, understanding that the true victory lies not in the opponent defeated, but in the knowledge gained, and the swift application of that knowledge in future encounters. In Musashi's world, where the edge of a sword could decide fate, his ability to recover swiftly from adversity was not just a skill, but a necessity. For the modern warrior, whether battling in the boardroom or navigating the complexities of daily life, Musashi's example shines like a beacon. The lesson is clear. Absorb the impact, learn with veracity, adapt with alacrity, and above all, recover with such speed that even time itself struggles to keep pace. Musashi's resolve, the precision of swift rebounds. The essence of resilience is embodied in the ability to bounce back, not merely with vigor, but with precision. This concept was exemplified by Miyamoto Musashi, whose life was a tapestry woven with the threads of swift recoveries and strategic rebounds. His resilience wasn't just about returning to form, but emerging sharper, like the fine edge of a katana honed through adversity. To understand Musashi's approach to rebounding from setbacks is to recognize the meticulous precision that underpinned his every move. Each rebound was not a mere return to the battlefield, but a recalibrated strike refined by the wisdom of past encounters. This exactitude in Musashi's resolve illuminates a path for us to not only recover from our stumbles, but to use them as a pivot toward greater mastery. How then can we mirror this precision in our own lives? It starts with a clear-eyed assessment of our defeats. Where did our strategies falter? What lessons can be gleaned from the missteps? Like Musashi, we must dissect our experiences with the precision of a strategist extracting insights with the sharpness of a sword's edge. Embrace each setback as a rehearsal for a triumphant return. Reframe your understanding of resilience. It's not the frequency of your falls that defines your strength, but the sharpness of your ascents. Musashi's life teaches us that precision in our resolve, that deliberate, thoughtful recalibration after a downfall, is what forges the true victor. Cultivating detachment, the strategic power of letting go. Detachment, often misunderstood as indifference, is in fact a dynamic force in the arsenal of the wise. It's the ability to remain unaffected by the fleeting highs and lows, to witness the ebb and flow of life's events with equanimity. For the legendary Miyamoto Musashi, detachment was less about emotional distance and more about mental freedom, a necessary element for making swift, unburdened decisions. Let's dissect the nuances of detachment as Musashi might have understood it. Begin with introspection. Assess the anchors of attachment in your life, be they material, relational, or ideological. Practice mindfulness to recognize when these attachments sway your judgment. Engage in activities that align with your core values, not the fleeting whims of society, and commit to a process of ongoing self-improvement that prioritizes personal growth over social validation. In the dojo of life, we must train ourselves in the discipline of detachment. This means setting aside time for solitude, for in silence, we often hear the most truth about ourselves. It involves embracing practices like meditation or journaling to confront and dispel the illusions that attachments often cast. By cultivating detachment, we can maneuver through life's vicissitudes with grace and purpose, much like Musashi did centuries ago. The strategic power of letting go isn't in denying one's feelings, but in mastering them, ensuring that when the moment calls for action, 
Our decisions are the products of clarity and wisdom, not the shadows of attachment. So let us take these ancient pearls of wisdom, these echoes of a samurai's ethos, and weave them into the narrative of our existence. In doing so, we honor Musashi's legacy, and more importantly, we empower ourselves to cut through the noise, the clutter, and the unnecessary, to rise above mediocrity and to truly live, unencumbered, unfettered, and undefeated.